What's going on, my math party people? Anderson here, your math coach, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over how to turn fractions into decimals, a skill that we definitely wanna know how to use here because when it comes to word problems and other types of questions, sometimes you'll be starting with a fraction, but then the answer might be a decimal, right? And so we need to know how to transition from fractions to decimals because at the end of the day, if you don't know how to do that, things can get mighty tough. So let's go ahead and get this done. And remember the previous two sections that we just did, we just did simplifying fractions and turning improper fractions into mixed numbers. Those are two skills that we absolutely need to know how to do. So make sure to go back to those videos if you need to. But let me go ahead and go through the first five examples here. And then if you're in the course, you'll go ahead and proceed to the next little activity where you'll go ahead and do this worksheet all the way through. And remember with these worksheets, the answers are gonna be on the last page over here. The answers are gonna be basically starred for you, so you're all good and you're all set. So here we are. Let's go ahead and get started with number one. How do you turn a fraction into a decimal? Well, here's how. Remember that fractions pretty much, they're just division. Fractions are just division. So when you see three tenths, really what you're seeing is three divided by 10. So there are little special rules for dividing by 10, dividing by five and things like that but I'm gonna show you the general way to get this done every single time. So here's what you're gonna to do. To turn a fraction into a decimal, remember a fraction is division. So you're saying, this is the same thing as saying three divided by 10. So what you'll do is this, 10 goes into three. That's exactly it. Basically what you're doing is you're performing division. And so notice that 10 cannot go into three and that's where the decimal comes into play. That's where the decimal, we can go ahead and write a bunch of zeros if we need to. That way we can see where this goes. So let's go ahead and get to it. So here we know that 10 cannot go into three, but can 10 go into 30? Yeah, 10 can go into 30. And let me make sure I put the decimal in the same place that it belongs. That's one of the biggest mistakes that people make. They forget to use that decimal and put it where it was before. Just place it there. But again, 10 cannot go into three. So that's zero, but 10 can go into 30, and that's three times right there. And so what we'll do is we'll do three times 10, that's 30, subtract that, and you get zero. And that's it. You have a remainder of zero, so that's all you can do. That's it, you're done, you're good, so it's 0.3. Because again, if you keep dropping these zeros, it's just gonna be a bunch of zeros. So it's just gonna be the same as 0.3. But that's really it. That's exactly how you convert a fraction into a, into a decimal here. Look, if you're frustrated about raising your score right now, if you feel like you're studying, but you're not exactly remembering what you're supposed to, or suffer from test anxiety and blank on word problems a lot, then go ahead and text me directly. Here's my number, 567-698-8867. I'm Coach Anderson. I have a full program that's gonna help you succeed. So go ahead and shoot me a text and say, hey coach, I wanna learn more about the program. And I'll go ahead and explain how all of it works. That way you can stress less about this test enlist with the job you want, and possibly get that bonus check too. And so with that said, go ahead, shoot me a text. Let's learn more about it, and let's get you in the right position to succeed. Let's keep going. So over here, if you look at one over 10, well, again, that's the same thing as saying one divided by 10, and you'll write that as long division. So you'll say here, 10 goes into one, put the decimal that you need, and make sure to put the decimal in the same spot. Okay, so 10 goes into one, it doesn't. 10 goes into 10 one time. Subtract the 10, you get a zero, and look at that. Sweet, so 0 0.1, and there we have it. Let's try another one here. Number three, we have two and 37 over 40. Okay, so if we try this out here, here's the one thing you wanna do. Notice that this is a mixed number now, so this is a little different, right? This is a little different, this is a mixed number. So what do we do here? Well, what we're gonna be doing is this. This whole number, this two, well, that's just gonna be two. You just leave that as two, leave it as is. Because it's the fraction here that you wanna turn into a decimal. It's this right here that you wanna turn into a decimal because this is gonna be two point and then whatever this is as a decimal. So again, the two, that's a whole number, right? Yeah, so that's why it is where the whole number is. So keep it where the whole number is, you're fine. And then you're gonna turn your fraction into a decimal. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and say right here, 37 divided by 40, how do I do that? Well, write out the long division. 
and then put the zeros as many as you need and then put the decimal right above it right there so here we go so 40 can't go into 3 40 doesn't go into 37 so that's where those zeros come in but over here check this out how many times does 40 go into 370 well I know that 40 goes into 360 nine times right yeah yeah it does absolutely 40 goes into 369 times because 4 goes into 36 nine times so with that we'll put a 9 here because 40 times 9 again is 360 so if you're not comfortable with your calculation skills in terms of long division in terms of multiplying dividing adding subtraction subtracting what you need to do is you need to make sure you go back to the section if you're in the course go to the section on mental math and calculating so if you're in the free version of the course well you might not have it available to you right now but if you're in my program you'll see that you have every section available to you from fractions to decimals to percents proportions distance rate time all of it and so make sure to go in there practice your mental math and calculating skills so you can keep working on it and working on it and make this as easy as possible so we subtracted 360 we get a 10 left over then what we'll do is we'll bring down the zero and now we have 100. How many times does 40 go into 100? 40, 80, that's it, twice. So that'll be a two and we'll take away the 80. Next up, we have 20 remaining, but we bring down that zero. And so now we ask ourselves, how many times does 40 go into 200? Well, that's gonna be five because 40 goes into 200, that's the same as four going into 20. That's five times. And so what we end up having here, that'll be five. And there we have it. So with that said, booyah, we're good. And so we have uh, 0.925 over there. So over here, this 37 over 40 is, again, 0.925. But since we have, again, 2 and 37 over 40, that'll be the same thing as 2.925 and in this case we were told to again round to the nearest hundredth so the nearest one is right here b 2.92 i would have rounded up to 2.93 if it was up to me but in this case we put 2.92 there that's the closest one and we're good so let's go ahead and go through numbers four and number five and then we are set so here's number four so here's a nice little thing about dividing by 100. when you're dividing by 100 honestly everybody Again, dividing by 100 is the same as moving the decimal place over two times to the left. So if we're dividing by 100, we can just say this, watch. 1, 2, 1, 2. This will be the same as 0 0.57. I'm going to show you the math. Again, I'm going to do the work for you. I'll show you. But the shortcut rule when dividing by 100, move the decimal place over two times. Dividing by 10, move it over one time. Again, look at number one. Look at the rule right here. You're dividing by 10, so you can just move the decimal place over one time to get 0.3. There's the answer. If we check this one out over here, 1 tenth, you're dividing by 10, move that decimal place over one time, 0.1. So again, let me show you this one here. Let me show you how this works. So I'll divide by the 100 in the traditional way. So 100 going into 57. Okay. So 100 can't go into 5, can't go into 57, but it can go into 570. How many times? 50, or yeah, well, how many times? That'll be five times. Because 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, five times. So I'll go ahead and write that right here. Don't forget your decimal. So we subtract the 500, we get 70. So then we bring the zero down, and we say how many times does 100 go into 700, seven times. And so that'll be 0 0.57, exactly as we saw before, right there. And so there you have it, and we're good. And we'll do one more over here, one more to cap things off, just to show you another one with a mixed number. And then you're gonna proceed into the worksheet, try this thing out, and you're good to go. Look, let's be honest. If you wanna go ahead and lower test anxiety, if you wanna stop blanking out on word problems, and actually understand how to use formulas instead of just memorizing them and not knowing what to do, then you need a program that's going to support you all the way. So a program that basically lets you text your coach whenever you need them, a program that allows you to go to classes and watch all the recordings, a program that gives you access to thousands of extra practice problems with video solutions, 
a program that gives you much, much more than that with practice tests, study guides, and more, that's exactly what you're going to need. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Reach out to me, shoot me a text, or click the link in the video here to go ahead and learn about my ASVAB All Access program. It's everything my students use to raise their scores and get the jobs they want, so feel free to check it out so that way you can get in on the action too. I'll see you in there. So with that, let's see what's happening right here. 4 and 16 over 25. So here, this is going to be equal to 4 point whatever this is. Whatever this is, that's what we'll include right there. So let's go ahead and get it done. So over here, we're going to divide 25 into 16. But again, you know, 25 doesn't go into 16. So be prepared to use a decimal here. Be prepared to use a decimal. And what I'll do is I'll do 25 into 1, doesn't work. What about into 16, doesn't work. Into 160, it does work. So you can multiply this by 6. Because again, 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, and that's it. The next one would be 175, but that's too much. So this is going to be 6 right over here. That's going to be 6. So we subtract the 150, leaving us with 10. And remember, don't forget, look at our decimal right there. Put it in the same place so you're not messed up. And then next up, we will drop this 0 down. How many times does 25 go into 100? That's 4. And so here the answer would be 0 0.64 that we're tacking on right there. And so the answer again is 4.64. Booyah. And there we have it. So those are some brief examples there, my party people, of again, how to turn fractions into decimals. It's not terribly difficult. We just have to be comfortable with performing long division. And in the future, I'm going to show you different ways to convert much easier. So for example, if you have out of 25, if you have it out of 100, much, much easier as you saw over here. Because if it's over 100, it's just putting the decimal right there and you're good. So if you look at out of 25, well, if you multiply 25 by 4, that gives you 100. What's 16 times 4? 64. 4.64. So that could be a faster way to do it for you if you recognize how to turn the denominator into out of 100. Easiest way to do it. And so with that said, my party people, I'm Anderson, your math coach. I'm always happy to be it. So remember, moving forward now, check out the worksheet, then go into the speed drill to really test yourself and get better in terms of your confidence under pressure. And then move forward to the next topic and the next one and the next one after that. So with that said, my party people, I'll see you in the next one. Let's go ahead and raise that score.